All right, boys and girls, and parents, I suppose, if you're watching. Um, this is round three of Flipping the craft Classroom. Um, we're, we're talking about Lesson 89, um, and that's found on page 580. Um, first of all, our, our two objectives for today, we will identify congruent parts of geometric solids. Congruent, remember that we're having, uh, if two shapes are congruent, remember, these two squares are congruent, however, this, this square and this rectangle are not congruent. They're the same, they're, they're identical. Okay, and then finally, identify parallel and perpendicular faces of geometric solids. Um, parallel, of course, two lines that continue on and on in the same directions without ever touching. Um, and perpendicular faces of geometric solids, again, creating that perfect 90 degree angle at their cross. Okay, um, on the bottom of page 580, it says a prism is a three-dimensional solid with two congruent bases. So both bases are, are the exact same. These congruent bases are parallel. The shape of each pair of bases can be any poly, any polygon. The shape of the base determines the name of the prism. The word base does not mean the bottom of the figure. In each figure below, the bases are the front and back of the figure. However, this, the figures can be turned so that the bases are in different positions. Okay, so if you look at page 581, um, at the top there are six prisms. We have a triangular prism with a triangular face. We have a rectangular prism with a rectangle face. Uh, a trapezoidal prism, okay, again it's a, it's a, our four-sided shape, but again it's different from the rectangular prism in that it doesn't create 90 degree angles with its sides. We also have a pentagonal prism, okay, it of course has a pentagon for a face, the hexagon prism, and the octagonal prism. Again, all determined by the face. The, the name of those prisms are all determined by the face of them. Um, analyze what shape in each pair of faces, in each pair of bases in prisms A through F, what shape are the faces that are not bases. And I want you to answer this on the back side of those sheets that you took home today. On the back side, write down the letter A and tell me what the face is or the, the base is. What shape is it? Do that for A, B, C, D, E, and F. Tell me what the name of the base is. You don't have to name the prism. I want you to name the face or the base. Okay, give you a second to do that. Feel free to pause it right now if, if I'm moving too fast. Okay, example number one. Again, this will be recorded on the front of that sheet. It says, which prisms A through F have all parallel rectangular faces? Okay, so the, the face. It has to be a rectangle shape. Again, remembering that a square is a rectangle. Which prism has all parallel rectangular faces? Well, the only one that does is, is figure B. So this is what you'd write down for your answer. In figure B, we consider the front and back of the rectangular prism as bases. Then we see two other parts of the parallel rectangular faces. That is, the top and bottom faces are parallel, and the left and right faces are parallel. Okay? Understanding that if you look at uh, prism A, the triangle, even the two Again, this is tough to draw. Even the two, the two faces, um, this right one and this left one, notice how they're not parallel. They, they intersect at this point. Yes, the front and the back side are parallel. They'll continue on and on forever, of course, without touching. But the only prism that has all, all uh, rectangular parallel faces is, is prism B. Okay, example number two. We have which prisms A through F have congruent rectangular faces? And it says prism A has two congruent rectangular faces. If you consider the left and right walls of, of prism A, they're the exact same, only because the front face of that triangle, it, it shows that the left and right edges are, are similar. That means that this 
bottom edge is not similar to these other two. So these two faces that drop back on this right side and then on this left side, they are congruent. They are the same. Okay, prism B, it says that prism B has four congruent rectangular faces since its bases are squares. So the front, the front of the rectangular prism is a square, which means that it has one, two, three, four rectangular congruent faces because its base is a square. And now I'm not pointing to these edges. I'm pointing to the faces behind those edges that represent that represent the left, right, top, and bottom faces. So figure B represents four of them. And, and again, I'd like you to read the rest of them. Prism C has two congruent faces. Prism D, E, and F have all rectangular faces congruent since the bases are regular polygons, which means each side of those polygons are, are the same length. Okay, example number three. Does this figure, or look at this figure, does it have any perpendicular rectangular faces? Okay, the figure is a, is a right, it has a right triangle for a face, or for a base, and does it have any perpendicular rectangular faces? Then it says, notice that two sides of the triangular bases are perpendicular. Therefore, two rectangular two rectangular faces are also perpendicular. Now, if we look at the back side of this, again, I'll do my best to draw this prism, but it's not going to be very good. That's not too bad. Okay? If it asked us if it had any perpendicular rectangular faces, again, looking for that looking for that perfect 90 degree angle that's created here and and this face and this face do create that 90 degree angle so it, so it does have it does have two perpendicular faces um, now if we look at the lesson practice again you you just have to follow along with these you don't have to do anything for uh, the assignment that we sent home um, name each type of prism in a through C. Okay, practice problem A, it shows a prism. I'm looking at the base of that prism. Okay, the face that, that isn't rectangular. And I see that it has a triangular face, so I know that that is named a triangular prism. Okay, for practice problem B, it shows that, that shape has six rectangular faces. Um, so the only kind of prism that it can be is a rectangular prism. Okay, practice problem C. It shows, again, we're looking at the faces. It shows that there is a six-sided shape, which is drawn pretty impressively right there. Um, so again, uh, naming that prism, I might want to flip back to the previous page if I'm not sure, I don't remember what it was called. But I know that this is a hexagon, so it's a hexagonal prism. All right, uh, example D, the prism in problem A has how many perpendicular rectangular faces? It, none of them, that rectangle or that triangle that is its face doesn't have any perpendicular angles. It doesn't have any perfect 90 degree angles, therefore the faces that connect it to the, the, the base on the back side of that triangular prism, they will not create a perpendicular angle, so it has zero. Practice problem E. Practice problem E says a rectangular prism has how many pairs of parallel faces? If you'd like to just look at, at practice problem B, it shows a rectangular prism Look at the faces. Determine which faces are parallel. Well, whew, I'm getting good at this. That is my rectangular prism. Um, I can tell that this face on the top and the face on the bottom are parallel. They, they will continue along that plane without touching. The two sides are also parallel. So that's my second 
parallel face and, and the front and the back side are also parallel. So that leaves me with three parallel faces, which I'm going to abbreviate par F. Perfect. Okay, um, and then finally, I guess let's do example F. It says the prism in problem C has how many edges? Remembering that edges are just where one, two, I guess the edges are where two faces they, they meet. So we can count those faces, or we can count those edges in the prism in problem C, that hexagonal one. And it looks like we have six on the front, six on the back, and we have six six edges that connect the front the front of the base to the back of the base, which leaves us with 18 faces. For example, F. We have 18, not faces, but edges, sorry. Okay, and then finally, example G. Is this figure a prism? Explain your answer. It is not a prism because it does not have two parallel congruent bases. It, it kind of looks like a pyramid with the top chopped off. And because the bottom portion, that bottom base, is not congruent with the top one, it is not a, it, it is not a prism. A prism, again, needs to have two congruent faces. The, the shape found in practice problem G, again, does not have two congruent faces. So, thanks for watching. Sorry if you can't see me. Um, I will see you, I guess, on Tuesday. Have a good weekend.